Jimbo, get out of here. Get. Get out of here, you beast. Nobody wants to talk to you? No, they don't. Hello, I'm Jacob. This is the Prepper's Bunker Outdoors. And uh, I apologize for the smoky little fire, but today I want to talk to you about the Council Tool Fallers Axe here. Um, and so what we're doing is we're having Thanksgiving dinner a day late, my wife and I, because we were working yesterday. I'm gonna be cooking some steak over this fire in a cast iron skillet. And I thought that this would be the perfect time for me to share with you my experiences and opinions on this awesome council tool axe. So stick around. Stick what do you think, Jimbo? Is it a nice fire? It's a nice fire. So I'm borrowing this axe from my friend uh, Rooster, and it's uh, I, I didn't understand why it was called a faller's axe because your typical felling axe, which this is not, uh, has a longer handle and typically a lighter head. But my dad was a logger. For most of my time growing up and this is how all of his um, fallers axes were for when he was logging they were all five and six pound council tool heads and he'd cut the handles down to about 32 inches and he would use them for pounding in stakes and uh, stringy wood stringy bark whatever just little stuff that need to be done around a short handled axe was the way to do it uh, but he didn't explain that to me, and I didn't really understand that until I worked on this. So not only did I make this fire, mostly with this council tool axe, um, which I can feather stick and stuff with too. I'm pretty sure I got a clip to show you of that. But uh, not only did I do that, but I cl clearing out this property, which was incredibly dense. Um, I used this axe a ton, and it was super handy. So really... Like I said, I'm borrowing this axe, but I think I need to talk to Rooster about not returning it. Um, you've got a five pound head, like I said, 32 inch American hickory handle. Um, this is not one of their premium finish line axes. It is affordable. It doesn't quite have the fit and finish of say their pack axe or their velvet cut line. And it just doesn't matter because you take this thing out and you beat on it. Heck, I use this to put uh, rafters up in my basement uh, with my dad, floor joists, uh, to reinforce the floor joist. I needed uh, I need some horsepower for banging on that, and lo and behold, what was around this short, handy little uh, axe with a five-pound head here. So um, I really, really like this axe. Uh, I think it's I, I think it's not just for fallers, although this not being a felling axe is a fallers axe. It's for people out there with chainsaws banging in wedges and doing work dropping trees. But uh, man, this thing is like a must have for a homesteader. Uh, in the truck, this thing would be perfect. It is incredibly handy. So what really makes this axe perform so well, you've got this large single bit head, nice big surface for a hammer. Look at this profile. You've got a nice long thin bit and this edge is quite thin. Now this has been sharpened by Rooster. Um, it is not a factory edge, uh, he touched it up. And uh, getting it from him, it would shave hair and just feather stick great, like I had mentioned earlier. Um, but the handle at 32 inches is far, far shorter than what you would normally find on an axe of 
this size and weight. And uh, although it is not idea for, ideal for a felling axe for dropping trees, as a faller's axe, as a person who's out there dropping trees, this thing is just incredibly handy. Now, I think it's about time for me to go get the steak on the fire. Now, if we're gonna be honest with each other here, I have no idea how to cook steak over an open fire. I've never done it before. I've done some open fire cooking, but I'm just waiting for this pan to get nice and sizzly. It's getting going there. And once we're to heat, I'm just gonna do four minutes per side and uh, should end up incredible. I guess we'll see. Got some heat going. Jeez, it cracks. Oh boy. Oh, well, there goes the table. Boys on end. Hey guys, it appears that the time has gotten away from me and it has taken the light with it. Um, I'm going to post the stats for this axe in the description box below as well as where you can get it. Uh, I'll probably throw in a picture of our finished dinner. Um, we're cooking sweet potatoes also that our neighbor gave us that are homegrown. Nice old guy. So, uh, I, uh, in conclusion... A lot of people might say that this would be a niche or niche axe, and it's not. Uh, the number of uses that this thing is just phenomenal for, from splitting kindling, to beating in wedges, to getting that tree on the ground, to possibly even getting your truck out of a mud hole, it is an all around absolutely awesome axe. And I would say, if you are in the process of getting a few axes, that this might be number three on the list of axes you need to have. So probably a, a nice full-sized felling axe, a large hatchet or small boy's axe, and then a faller's axe like this. And you might be surprised and find yourself using this axe as much as or more than any of them, especially around the house. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Um, I hope that... Uh, Hope that you can check this out. It's absolutely worth your time. And uh, have a blessed evening. Thank you very much.